Ever wonder why most men seem to shy away from dating feminists? Today, we're tackling this contentious topic. Feminism, often misunderstood, simply advocates for gender equality, yet it sparks various reactions. Stick around as we delve into the reasons and back them up with real research. First off, a common reason is the misunderstanding of what feminism was supposed to actually stand for. What was essentially an empowering movement to give women the choice to do things in their life on their own terms slowly morphed into a large amount of overly entitled, demanding, angry, bitter women who seem to have been swept away by power and each day seems a daily battle to come out on top. No man wants a relationship with a woman who finds a problem everywhere she looks. It's a bit of a headache. Why would anybody want to complicate their life more than it already is? The results show that more feminist women are single and out of relationships than those that don't align themselves as feminists. They claim by choice, but the men claim a different reason. Men want an easy life when it comes to a relationship, not a war, not constant arguments about being oppressed. What the feminists claim is assertiveness and courage that intimidates men is in fact bitter, angry entitlement that is actually pushing them away. A guy wouldn't choose guy friends with that attitude, so I have no idea what makes feminists believe they'll be their first choice of partner. Imagine a child that constantly wants to argue, pick fights, complain about being oppressed, claiming victimhood at every chance they get. You simply cannot win. To a feminist, if you vocalize your true feelings of why you feel uneasy around them, they will claim you feel intimidated, when in reality that isn't the case. Nobody wants to be in a relationship with some whiny Karen who ruins the peace and quiet of life. So why do some men shy away from dating feminists? It boils down to seeking a partner who is willing to give, not just take. Power in a relationship is equally distributed. But the feminist ideology touts that women have been oppressed for centuries and must overthrow this oppression, leading to an aggressive attitude of entitlement that pushes people away. But they just can't see it. After all, they're committed to the cause now. They must continue on. Although a lot of women are ditching feminism because they realize they were happier before, which says a lot. So remember feminists, if you find yourself feeling all alone and wonder why, the first lesson starts inside oneself. Are you a giving partner in a relationship? Do you offer something a man will find attractive, apart from an overly demanding and entitled attitude? Life shouldn't be a battle, and a life with a feminist is just that. That's all for today. Until next time.